Hi Tubi fam! If you are new to my channel, welcome! My name is Lin. Today I'm visiting Matsumoto. If you are visiting Nagano Prefecture, Matsumoto Castle is worth checking out. It is one of the most complete original Japanese castles. I went to Matsumoto for a half day trip. Let's check out the castle! From Tokyo to Nagano, it takes 1 hour and 22 minutes on the Shinkansen. Then, from Nagano Station, you'll take the JR to Matsumoto Station, which takes about 50 minutes. From Matsumoto Station, it is a short 15 minute walk to the castle. Before heading to Matsumoto, I dropped all my luggage in a locker at Nagano Station. It's a convenient way not to have to carry a large suitcase everywhere you go for a day. It's super easy to use. Just follow the instructions on the computer. Here are the prices for the different size lockers. Even though the machine is marked over Suica, you can still use Passimo and vice versa. If you're using an older coin locker, you should take a picture of the locker and the area around it just in case you forget where it is when you come back for your stuff. Your baggage removal ticket is now being issued. Be sure to get your receipt, which is required when you take out your baggage. Thank you! The locker is now unlocked. Thank you. This place is so beautiful. Look at the castle. It's a must visit if you're here in Nagano. In spring, the area around the castle is a popular spot to see cherry blossoms. There's even a nighttime viewing event in front of the castle that goes on for 8 days after cherry blossom season begins. If you don't want to pay to go into the castle, you can walk around the castle. It is a relaxing stroll and be sure to take plenty of photos of the castle from different angles. I'm at the tail end of cherry blossom season. It's still nice because there's still some on the tree and they're falling like snow. It costs 610 yen a person to go inside the castle courtyard and castle. Got my ticket! Let's go! When in Japan, don't forget to bring a stamp book. All around the popular tourist destination, there are stamps available for you to fill in your stamp book for a free souvenir. This is one of my favorite things to do. I love going around and hunting for the stamps. It's a good way to remember all the places you went during your Japan trip. <laughs> There's a cowboy and a ninja. <laughs> Just chatting away. Now let's go take a look to see what it looks like inside. <laughs> Before going into the castle, you have to remove your shoes. They will give you a bag for you to carry your shoe around. <laughs> There's my mule. <laughs> it's crazy. Ugh. I'm finally at the top of the castle. It was a trek up here. It was really dangerous because all the stairs were really stamped up. I'm kind of worried going back down, but it is worth the trek up here. Except on the top, it's really, really small. I guess it's a castle that kind of like goes like this, stamped upwards. It's amazing to see how protected this castle is with all the little windows and all the like rails where you can shoot stuff down. Yeah, this is where. Shoot it down. Yeah. And this is where they'll fire their muzzles right here. Here are some interesting facts about Matsumoto Castle. It is unique because it is a Harajio, which is a castle built on plains rather than on a hill or a mountain. Because of this, the castle has to build its own defense system, which includes interconnecting walls, moats, and gatehouses. Also, it makes for a great picture because of the Northern Alps in the background of the castle. There are 12 castles all around Japan, but only two is five stories high. 
this one in Himeji Castle, but there's also a secret inside. There's an extra sixth floor inside that looks like a loft. Interesting features of the castle include steep wooden stairs, openings to drop stones onto invaders, openings for archers, as well as an observation deck at the top. The sixth floor of the main keep has nice views over the surrounding city. If you want, they have a free tour guide that will go into the castle with you and tell you about all the history of the castle. The guides are available in different languages. Matsumoto Castle is also known as a black castle because of its black exterior. I just came out of the castle and the castle was so beautiful just to see the view, what Lord would see and all the ninja areas. The castle was really steep climbing up. So watch your step and Hold on, be careful not to fall and slip. All right, I'm done with castle. I spent a good hour and a half here. This allocate an hour and a half, and that's really all you need just to look around. Outside the castle, there is a small shop to get ice cream. Let's go get some. Right outside the castle, I got cherry blossom ice cream. Let's give this a try. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, it's very good. Very creamy. It was 300 yen for one. On your way back to the JR station, don't forget to check out Narwate Dori Street, which is also known as Frog Street. It is Matsumoto's Edo era themed shopping street. It takes you back into history and see how shops back then used to look like. There are cute boutique shops and antique dealers. If you want a little snack, there are bakeries and candy stores. There used to be a ton of Kajika frogs which roamed around this area. In 1959, a typhoon came and caused the river to overflow. This made all the frogs leave for higher ground and cleaner water upstream. The people worked hard to clean up the river, but the frogs never came back. The people of the city then built many artificial frogs to bring Nawate Street's spirits back. Matsumoto Castle is a good half day trip from Nagano. I was only there for 5 hours. It was a quick and easy stop before heading to my next destination. Get excited for my next vlog in Kanasawa! Thanks for watching and I really hope this video helps you plan your trip in Nagano prefecture give this video a thumbs up if it helps subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified when i post more travel and food vlogs i'll vlog you next time bye